Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we'll be looking into how we can build docker images for Spring Boot applications. So we'll be exploring three mechanisms how we can actually build docker images using Maven. And then after that we will actually do a deep dive into the various layers that get created when each of this build mechanism builds a docker image. So with this let's get started. Let's go to start.spring.io and we're going to create an application here with a simple dependency that is the web dependency okay i'll be using java 17 and i'll generate this project now i already have created some code for us so let's look at that so we have here a main class which has a particular rest controller inside it yeah i've specified a particular get mapping which just replies us saying that everything is all okay just a simple application just to see how we can create a docker image now the main thing comes here is the first plugin that we're going to explore so we're going to explore the first plugin that is the spring boot maven plugin so this is the build plugin that comes in and we specify the image name that we want by specifying this under the image name tag here you can also specify this as a command line argument but i've put it right now in this particular tag here now to create this particular image I'm just going to use maven clean verify spring boot build image so this is the phase that i'm going to use called as build image which will actually generate the image for this okay the image is already built now now let's look at the logs here i see here this that it's making use of build plaques so now what are build packs? So build packs are mechanism by which you can actually build an application by predefined ways. So now what actually this Spring Boot plugin does is that it actually uses the build packs builder and it then figures out what are the various build packs that it requires. So then here it's actually detecting six of 24 build packs that will be used to actually build a Spring Boot application and then afterwards builds this particular image. So first thing let's look at the image first that got built. And as you can see, built by Spring Boot plugin image is the image that we just created. That's the same name that we provided over here. So now actually let's run this particular image. So docker run minus p8080. So this is the port that I'm giving and I'm going to paste the image name here. As you can see, the application has started and it's running on port 8080. Let's actually now make a curl request to localhost 8080. And as you can see, we got a response all okay. So this is the first mechanism by which you can actually build your Docker image, which is available out of the box from the Spring Boot build plugin itself. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is actually deep dive into the various layers that it actually creates after creating this particular Docker image. So I have this particular utility called as dive and I'm going to give it the image that I just built. As you can see here, this side are all the layers that have been created and this is the file contents inside it. Now I'm just going to modify this such that I can view only the ones that have been created. So in this third layer, you can see there are some certificates been put in. Then we have the build pack certificate helper. Then we have some Java security properties. Then we have the JRE itself. And if I scroll more below, Let's go to our application actually. So here finally, if you see in this layer, we have all the libraries that we are using. So these are all your dependencies that we have. Now we scroll down, we see that in this layer, all some of the Spring Boot loader classes are present here. And if I go down, we finally see all the classes that we have created. So the classes we have, the manifest and everything is all present in here. So this is how it has organized itself into layers, right? Now. So with this, we saw how actually the Spring Boot build plugin actually creates our Docker image. Now let's look at the next mechanism that is by Fabricate IO available. So I already have this plugin here in the POM file and I've put it under a particular profile called as build with Fabricate. If you see here, I'm using this Fabric 8 IO plugin, which is the Docker Maven plugin here. And here I'm actually specifying the name of the image, which is going to be the project name and the project version. And now I'm actually specifying some of the configuration here. So the first configuration here I'm specifying is that it should use the Open JDK 17 as the base image. And then I'm specifying a particular build step. Now, if I look closely at this particular build step here, I'm telling it that I need to 
copy the particular artifact. After copying that particular artifact, I'm telling it that it needs to expose port 8080. And then I'm specifying that my main command that should be run should be java minus jar build slash this. Now, how do you figure out whether it is build slash the jar name, right? Here in the assembly section, when we specify the name as build, this corresponds to the folder that in which this particular artifact will be copied to. So that's the reason we are actually specifying this build slash the name of the jar. So this jar is actually the fat jar that is created by Spring Boot. And finally, the image gets built into this. So now let's actually build this particular Docker image. So I'm going to say Maven clean verify build with fabricate. So our Docker image is already built now. So the Docker image name is here right now. So let's look at our Docker images. As you can see, we have this particular image that has been built with the tag 001 snapshot. This is what we have specified here in the image. That is the project name colon the project version. Now what we are going to do now is run this one. So docker run minus p specify the port and specify the version. So as you can see, the application has started running and it's running on port 8080. Now let's run a curl command here. And as you can see, it's saying all okay. Everything is running as expected. Now I'm going to stop this here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing what we did before. We are going to dive into this particular Docker image, right? So let's call this dive and we have this with the version that we had specified here. That is this. So if you see here now, we see only a few layers here, but what we are interested in is actually when this particular jar was added, right? So let me first see only what has been added here and let's look. So this is the base layer. In this layer, we can see that it is adding a lot of these JVM dependencies here. And then finally, it's adding a jar file in this. So if I expand this a little bit further, you can see in the last layer, the entire fat jar has been added here. So in Fabricate plugin, you can actually specify how you can build various layers. So now in this layer, actually we just specified, just copy the artifact into the layer as is, and then afterwards run that particular jar file. So you can actually specify more layers by specifying more sections in the assembly part. Now this was Fabricate's mechanism of how you can build a Docker image. Now we are going to look at the next one. That is a Google's provided chip plugin. So for this, let's close this thing first. So as you can see here, I have this particular profile that I've set like build with JIP just to separate out this particular JIP plugin building. And here I'm specifying the JIP plugin itself. So this JIP Maven plugin, actually by default, what it does it, it will build that particular image and then even push it to the particular repo. But right now we just wanted to build it locally to our local Docker daemon, right? So for this, what we need to do is in the execution section, I need to specify at which phase I need to run this code. So I'm specify that at the verify phase, you run the Docker build goal. So this Docker build goal will only just build the particular image to your local Docker daemon. Now here in the configurations, if you check, I have the base image, which I've specified open JDK 17, and then the image name that I want to give finally. So I have specified like jib build, then project name, colon, the project version. Now let's actually build this particular image. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say maven clean verify build with jib. So as you can see, it has actually built this particular image here to the local Docker daemon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run this. So the application is now running on port 8080 and it is up and running. So now let's make a curl request. And as you can see, it's saying all okay. That means our request is already being satisfied. Let's look at the main thing that is the various layers, right? So let's use this utility. And I'm going to use the image that was built. That was jib build hyphen service docker image build. Okay. So these are the various layers that have been present. If you look into this part, you have the base layer here, followed by the JRE libraries that we need. 
and then finally if you see these are the various sections or these are the various layers of the docker image that we are more interested into first you can see it has copied all the libraries here then it has copied the folder structure and the properties file in this layer then we have all the classes that have been generated in our application and finally we have some configuration specifying the main class name and the class path itself so now jib automatically takes care about layering these various parts you don't have to take care about how to layer the particular docker image it knows that the most frequently changes happens in the classes so it has put this as the second last layer and finally the main one which is the last layer itself so today we saw how we can actually build docker images for spring boot applications we explored three mechanisms that was the spring build plugin the fabric 8 io plugin and the jib plugin now keep exploring such kind of things so make sure you like this particular video and subscribe for more such videos to come till then take care and see you in my next one